please welcome Governor Tony Evers. But on the Tony Evers excitement scale that goes from holy mackerel and, ma and maxes out at heck yes, I am jazzed as hell to be welcoming, welcoming our next Democratic nominee to Wisconsin Vice President Kamala Harris. to hear from the next president of the United States of America. Yes. Me too. After listening to all the Republicans who dropped by here for a few days last week, it'll be nice, nice to finally hear someone who knows something about getting things done for the great state of Wisconsin. Now, Vice President Kamala Harris is ready to lead from day one. She's already proven herself to be a tenacious leader, district attorney, attorney general, and U.S. senator. And as our vice president, Kamala has vigor vigorously defended our democracy, fought hard, very hard to protect our freedoms that we hold dear, and worked tirelessly to do the right thing and deliver for us. And that's why yesterday I joined my favorite Midwestern governors, Davey Pritzker, Gretchen Whitmer, and Tim Walls, to announce that I am all in on Kamala Harris. So the question is, the question I have for all of you here today is, are you all in Wisconsin? Yes! Yes! You're there because we've got a lot of work to do. We have 105 days, and we do not have a minute to waste. This is an all-hands-on-deck or a make-or-break-it moment for our democracy here in the great state of Wisconsin. Because here's the truth about two guys in this race, Donald Trump and J.B. Excuse me, J.D. Vance, our dangerous threat to our, to our country, to our democracy. They're not running to help others, they're running to serve themselves. They're not capable of being honest or telling the truth. And Donald Trump and J.D. Vance have a radical, radical agenda, and they plan to pursue it if they get into the Oval Office. So if you haven't seen it, Google Project 2025. <laughs> it looks like you already have. Look it up when you get home and send it on to others. It's extraordinary, extraordinarily horrible. And we all know that they'll work hard to enact a national abortion ban. <laughs> Trump's uh, running mate, J.D. Vance, has said that loud and clear, and I'm serious. Look it, look it up, if you don't believe it. Vance said he'd like abortion to be, quote, illegal nationally. We're going to stop him. We call, he called the U.S. Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe historic and, quote, put a new era of society into motion. We have to stop that motion, folks. I'll tell that to Wisconsin women who spent a year experiencing what it's like to live in a state that bans nearly all abortions, even cases of rape or incest. If that's the new society Donald and Vance want, they're going to have to sell it someplace else because we don't want it here. And we're going to let them know that next November. Donald Trump and J.D. Vance's path 
seizing power, destroying our democracy, and taking away our freedoms runs right through the state of Wisconsin, and we are going to stop them. We have a choice between this November, between the choice, it's never been clearer. We have a choice between those who want more for themselves and someone who wants better for all of us. We have a choice between those who want to conquer by dividing and someone who wants to build by unifying. We have a choice between those who want to turn back to the past and someone that wants to go forward into the future. So, so here's what we're going to do, Wisconsin. We're going to work hard for a battle-tested leader who's not afraid of the truth. We're going to work hard over the next 100 days for a person who puts people first. We're going to deliver Wisconsin for a woman who has never forgotten where she came from or the state that helped raise her. And we are going to help elect the first woman as president of the United States of America. And her name is Kamala Harris. Whoa. Today, today is a brand new day, Wisconsin, and we've only got 105 days left. Let's make them count. Let's get to work and let's win this damn thing. Let's go! Thank you. Thank you. Please welcome United States Senator Tammy Baldwin.